No, you and Dad have, have been working. You've been working with Dad and trying to help him with reading and stuff like that. And, but uh, Dad's a he's a pretty good storyteller too. And, and the thing oh, yeah. with Dad, you got to watch him because you never know when he's being serious or when he's just telling a tale. Yeah. And this particular story comes about from uh, a time where I wasn't really sure whether he was telling the truth or not. They said one time to him and my uncle Wayne, his brother, went fishing. And while they were fishing, they had um, brought along a little jar of something in a, in a full <laughs> jar. Now, what was in the jar wasn't necessarily, um, I'm not sure, of. they never made clear what was in the jar other than it kind of looked at the, like pond water. Uh, had a really sour smell to it, you might say. And there was a refreshment for the day. So they were fishing and they, they've been uh, refreshing themselves from the court jar and they got to noticing a squirrel up on a hill and, <laughs> and the squirrel would play around and then it was stopping and look over into the, the, the little uh, creek that they was fishing out of and he'd scamper down a little bit and then he'd stop and he'd look up and then he'd scamper down a little bit further and he'd stop. And he, they got to notice it when it was watching, and it was a log. There was a log floating down this creek, and on the log was a wall, a huge wall on this creek, on this log, I mean. And, and the squirrel was like, yeah, lunch. So he gets out there on this, this real limber limb, and he, he walks out there as far as he cares to, and he starts balancing on that limb, getting in the limb, go up and down, up and down. And the closer that log got, and, and then finally he come down and he leaped off of it and he landed on that log and he started just gnawing on it working that working that wall and just out of the blue dad said that a big catfish come up out of the water and he grabbed the squirrel and he went back down under the water and said for a few minutes there wasn't anything but blood and fur and and, and, and scales and nothing the water settled in they waited to see what was going to happen next. And up now, where come that catfish and put another walnut up on that log. And Dad looked over to his brother Wayne and he looked at that jar and they poured it out. Maybe they had all the refreshing they needed that day.